SMP server. I'm Kent Powers and I am sitting around in the Skelly Farm. So as you knew in the last episodes we did some pieces but at this moment in time we are trying to get our levels up so we can enchant our iron armour. Yes we've got 13 diamonds and I think we've got about in total we are looking around about 20 30, about 30 odd diamonds so it's not enough to make a full set so I'd rather just enchant what I've got and make our full set of diamonds when we get them and we need to start thinking about doing some mining and hopefully get a load of diamonds so I can do a proper set of diamond armor we also need some mending but I do believe noob to pro on the server he has a mending villager which he's going to sell mending books. So I'll be looking forward to grabbing some of them when the time arises. But like I said, right now I'm over here at the old Skelly Farm just seeing how many we got. I haven't been over here long. I've got about 62 entities in there. So uh, yeah, we're going to do some bits and pieces, get some enchantments on our armour. I've cleared out all these chests while I've been over here waiting around and I made some bone blocks because we're definitely going to need some bone blocks and I am just being called right now by noob to pro which runs his name as Fartins on the server. Let's see what he would like to know or ask. Hello. How am I available? Uh, well, give me two seconds. And let's see what he wants after that. So we just get some here and bash around it. I do, these are a bit noisy, so we just whack these as fast as possible. Oh, here we go, let's get rid of them. Now, I don't think I'm gonna make 30 levels on this one. Oh, I really would like to have 38, 39, but we're not gonna get that. Right, are you available on Discord? Well, it looks like we're going to have to go chatty chatty. So what I'll do is I'll come back a little bit later. Hopefully I'll have finished off doing what he needs some help with. And uh, we'll do some enchanting. And some wither bossy stuff. Because I've managed to get three wither skeleton skulls. So I'll be back in a few seconds. And I will catch you wherever I will catch you. See you in a minute. Well, hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Fortunately, I went along and got distracted and I enchanted my own armor and I had to make another sword because I ended up chucking it away in the lava. So I've got looting two now instead of looting three, but that doesn't matter. We have respiration and protection three, protection three on breaking three, protection three on breaking three, protection four and Death Strider 3. Now these all were level 30 chant, enchants so I don't know why they went level 3 of in protection but hey never mind we are over here now in the nether planning to do a little bit of wither skeleton stuff so hopefully I have set this up right one two three and this is exactly where it needs to go and we should be able to do this with some ease. I am a little bit worried about the ease being here, but you know, can't help that for the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these in there now, and we're gonna have a little bit of wither bossing. So with any luck, it will spawn in that spot right there and won't be able to go nowhere. So let's go and see what happens. Kaboom. Need to get out of here quick. I don't know what he's going to do. Explosion. There we go. There he is. Right there. Like that. There we go now. Yep. We are taking him down at ease. Strength on him. Going exactly where we need him. And Daddy is crazy. 
Ooh. He is dead. Amazing. So what we're going to do, we ain't got no soul sand because we chucked it away and we have done him. He is dead, no need to worry about it, and sort it. And we got ourselves a never star. We can now make our beacon to go digging around. It's not going to be a fantastic beacon because I ain't got that much iron ore. But hopefully we will definitely get some, some form of beacon up and running, even if it's just haste one. And that should help us dig away the ground ready to go. So until then, I'm going to pop over and craft our beacon and see what we can get. And I will catch you guys in a few seconds. So I'll see you over where we're going. See you in a few seconds. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd bring you back into here at the moment. What I thought I'd do is I'd put a little sign up there to do the Wither Boss Kill Zone. So this is down the skeleton farm area. Keep running down here, all the way down. Try to do it as far away as I can just in case it didn't work. So that's a good point we found. You need a three by three square area in the bedrock. So up here, so what we're going to do now, we're going to Stairs it up. Oh, didn't want to do that. I want to st stairs it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push that back one more. One more, that's it. One more. We do that, and we can't really knock that one out. But what we can do is to make it a little bit like that. There we are. And here is where we kill the Wibber. So what we're going to do, we're going to definitely try and make this a little bit more easy to the eye pleasing. It's not the best place because, you know, we've got bits of bedrock hanging down everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're just going to definitely think about... Let's take that out for the time being and then let's see what happens when we put this in we want to get some more of these steppage down get your steps down here <clears throat> I think we'll stick that like that there we go that looks a lot better that looks a lot better so now what we can do here is put a little bit of a light source in here because it is a bit a bit dark here we are, we're just making this really look really nice and a little bit more brighter than what it was. I know it's cobblestone, cobblestone isn't the best looking block, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this block in here. So what we'll do is we will definitely do that. And then what we'll do is just, there we go. And we'll put another bit of light source there. That's it, that's it, that's it. So we just knock all this out now, all the way down here. There's a hole in the floor, so we definitely need to sort that out. We don't need no stairs no more. We do need some of this. There we are. Another hole in the floor. There we go. There's going to be more holes in the floor, but that's not done now for now. Let's just make sure that this works okay here. Let's fill this up. I don't even know where that goes down there, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. We're not here. To, we weren't here to venture off. It looks like we've been here before. So if we just. Excuse me. There we go. That's caps lock. Now is that right? There we go. Pressing the wrong button. Pressing caps lock instead. There we go. And I think we was knocking this one out here, was we? Or was we? No, we was doing it from there. That's it. We're going to do the top bit in a minute. Let's just get this one down so we don't run into any more problems. 
There we go. And that's probably a poor choice of blocks, but it's grey. Bedrock's grey. And I think it complements it quite well. We'll probably put in a roof as well, probably just about in here where we can, where the bedrock doesn't cause too much of a problem. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. That does look pretty good. So let's continue doing this and we will see how this looks in the end. Looking rather well, I hope. I hope you guys like how it looks. This isn't the actual project I was hoping to do today, but you no, know, needs must. We've got a wither killing station now. No one's going to die, no one has to go around destroying half the population or destroying anything in the big scheme of things we need to have a nice safe haven to kill the wither boss because if he gets loose he could be very very destructive indeed so what we need to do now is just continue putting these up in here hide up the old roofage and that should be looking good looking good indeed just continue knocking some more of this out and that should be it got some more blocks there we go put those on there 13 unlucky for some but not to worry to die we need some more up here there we go one more up there and I think whoop, I think we we are we're nearly done there's one more up there and we are now complete we need another another light source there I'm not too sure if the wither will take these light sources out he probably will but for now it's all looking handy dandy and I do believe we have finally made this room look exceedingly nice so I'll continue off down there now, finish off that, and um, yeah, I'll be back in a second when this is finished. See you in a few secs. But this is what we've done so far, nothing spectacular, just a little bit of a walkway through here, these sides and the tops, just to show that it's something here. Nothing special, torches in there for the lighting. It's pretty plain and simple, but uh, you know, I might change it later on. But for now that's what it is as you come through here you've got the stairs as you've seen all the way up we've got some people piggy men in here so they're all comfy and find this their new home so in here what we're going to do we're going to put down a chesty right there and we're going to fill this up with soul sand just you know sometimes you forget to bring your soul sand so i thought i'll leave some here for all the druids to come down and collect their soul sand and all they need to do is come down here and put their soul sand on this particular blocks as they are here. Whack on the wheel skull heads, stand back in this little section in here, wait until it goes boom, go in there and kill the wither. He will get stuck up there as you saw earlier on, so there's no point in worrying about dying at all. And yeah, I do believe that's all sorted. I do believe these torches might get blasted off. If they do, I might change it to something else. But there we are, Wither Killing Station. Sorted and done. So, Druids, if you've got some Wither Skulls, pop down here. You will be able to kill some Wither Bosses without actually doing any damage around you. So, I think I'm going to call that the episode today. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's something that we've done, and yeah, we can get crack on with what else we've got to do in the next episode. So again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you do 
enjoy the episode also don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it also also at the top there or in the end bits and pieces there will be a subscribe button also so please subscribe you never know there might be something on there worth your while to watch so hit that subscribe button and we will have some fun in the future and you will be notified when I do some stuff and it gets uploaded also down in the description don't forget to check out the other druids the other druids now yep the other druids they will definitely be looking to have your support so have a look around click on the druids say hello if you ever do comment on their stuff don't forget Kent sent her so then tell them that I sent you there and yeah I'll see you next time bye for now